Good morning, everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. My name is Catherine, and I live in northern Canada. I'll be doing a daily love reading here today. Um, yes, I am wearing my robe because it is morning, and I've just had my coffee. I'll be giving out $25 readings. Um, you can ask as many questions as you want, and I'll try to fit it in in the time. Uh, it's approximately, I, I seem to have trouble going under 20 minutes, but I'll try to answer as many as I can for that. All right, let's get on with your reading. If you hear noises in the background, of, uh, of course, those of you who have been here before know that's Chloe, my, my old beagle. <clears throat> She's rolling on her back right now. This side is you. This side is them. Let's begin. I was reading from uh, the Hebraic meanings of tarot. Tarot was actually created to teach. Uh, it was to teach about the Torah, which, if you look at the first five books of the Bible, that's uh, that's the Torah. And instead of Sunday school classes, they had created these tarot cards to teach their children about the valuable lessons in life. And we're using them today in many different forms. What you have here is the tower. Ah, oh, the tower, what am I thinking? I'm so not awake. And in their corner is the page of water. This is universe speaking to you. This is universe pushing things in a forward motion. It is the it is the energy that transfers into a soft language that we hear that moves us. This is to do with well, people would call it luck. I don't believe in luck, but uh, things are moving forward. Uh, rather than stagnant or going backwards. And for your significant other, they, the page of water is, in this case, the significant other is having an awakening. They're being enlightened. They're also, I think, psychically connected to you. So whatever's happening in your sleeping hours through the, the help of the divine, is uh, helping them as well. So I think I told you yesterday, you have to focus on you, nobody else but you. They need to go uh, walk their own walk, walk their own path. We have, and for you, we have the Ten of Earth. And for them, the Ace of Water. There is a story here, guys. I'm just showing you what the meanings of uh, these are uh, before we get into that story. The Ten of Earth, of course, is being abundant. You've reached the pinnacle. You've taken that Ace of Coins and turned it into a Ten of Coins. And uh, yes, there's a lot of stability here. And this one, this is the beginning of, well, <clears throat> the enlightened page here. This was the beginning of, um, most people say love overflowing, but it just seems to be more, much more, so much more than just an overflowing of love. There's some things happening in this person's soul. Oh, these are the clarifiers. Second of fire this shows that um, you're being challenged. People are challenging you, but you have the upper hand. You are taking the high ground. You are doing your own thing, making your own choices. Thank you for the advice. This is the way I'm going to do it. And rest assured that you've picked the right way. 
you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So you're in the past uh, questioned your own intuition. You don't need to question that anymore. And their side where you had the seven of fire and sticking to your ground, they have the star. Now the star is the counterpart of the sun. And most people would say the sun is the brighter card, but truly it is the star. And this star is, again, uh, heavenly help. It can signify wishes and hopes, the fulfillment of wishes and hopes. But more than that, the star feeds the soul. The sun feeds the body. The star feeds the soul. So there's not just enlightenment. There's healing taking place in this person's life, which is necessary for you to move on together. In your position, you had love, which I guess would be the same as the lover's card. Actually, no guess. It is the same as the lover's card. And in their, their side, they had strength. Now, in this particular tarot, there is a lion in each. Uh, this one, you could say it. It has Leo energy. Um, in the love card, we see two pillars here. And these are the two sides of self in this particular card. And it is the, the choice within self. The choice is being made where love is concerned. She's... <clears throat> She's, she looks like she's surrendering. Not so much worry, but just surrender. Whatever happens, happens. What comes, what comes, comes. In the strength card, this significant other, it's the number eight, infinity, has taken control of their inner self. They've it's not that they're turning away their animal side. They're just directing it in a more productive way. This isn't just about you need strength for what's coming. You have the strength for what's coming. It's You're absolutely prepared for them, I should say, because this was in your significant other side. But this can be reversed. This side could actually be you, and this side over here could be them. And finally, we have the Empress. Now, I was reading the Hebraic meaning of this Empress. And this was very interesting. In fact, this is a good time to show you what was at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> the bottom of the deck was the Emperor. <coughs> I beg your pardon. Sorry, guys. So it, as the overall energy, so in your side, we have the Empress. The Empress and the Emperor rule the right side of the brain. <clears throat> it is a place where the universe, or the creator, God, filters into, you No, know, in some tarot decks, decks they have a, a lightning bolt. It's just the same idea. In the right side of the brain, it comes down to a focal point from the universe, which feeds to the left side of the brain, which would be a translation into action. This is birthing new ideas, birthing your new self. This is a very, very powerful card. The Empress and the Emperor showing up in this deck tells me that there is some very holy work going on between the two of you because the two of you have been destined to be together. This is a twin flame relationship. If you haven't met them yet, this is what's going on in their life. And 
<clears throat> Let's expound on that if you haven't met them yet. Are they thinking of you? Absolutely. They know you very clearly in their dreams. Physically, they may have already met you. They know physically as well. But it's someone that's coming in. Where you had the Empress, they had the Page of Fire. Now, all pages are about messages. But this is a, a new beginning of new ideas, of such a newness. This sign has two pages in here. Um, this is not, they're not quite confident in themselves about these new ideas and moving forward. They know that they're on the right track. They're just not exactly confident in how to execute their fertile ideas because wands does signify passion. Clarifying the fortune. The fortune's wheel. You're moving into calmer grounds if you're not there already. Yesterday we showed you going into uh, seclusion, inner work, inner healing, inner reflection. And <clears throat> possibly because someone's coming with an offer, an offer of love, or perhaps you're thinking of making this offer of love. I'm not sure how to go about it, but you know that that time has come to move forward. Um, you don't need to move it forward. The universe is moving it forward. But the reflection, the calmer waters that you've been going through, has to do with this soul. The king of, I beg your pardon, the knight of cups can be very debonair, chivalrous, sweep you off your feet. But he's not the king. So possibly what you're thinking is we're moving to calmer waters. You see him or her not so much as a page anymore, but they're not a king yet. So where you had the they had <clears throat> page of water. They're waking up. They're going through an awakening. Psychically, they're connected to you. You guys probably have incredible conversations. <laughs> On being that king of cups, their emotions are already in check, but they do need to look at them. This is a brand new beginning in truth, in absolute truth. And we have an eagle here flying that is, or it could be a hawk, I don't know, but <clears throat> King of Swords has a hawk, maybe it's his. Brand new beginning, brand new beginning in truth. And because swords signify thoughts as well, they are certainly thinking about that new beginning with you. Where you had the Ten of Earth and they had the Ace of Water. This is the combination of you had the Ace of Pentacles. And you've come to the ten completion of abundance. And I think this is in all levels, spiritual, physical, material, magically. You have conquered yourself. You have conquered all of these confusions. What to do. If you haven't, you're about to. When you look at this card of indecision and confusion, none of these choices are bad in these cups. If you look at these cups, we've got fire. We have, you know, the happy home, the castle, the rainbow in another, coins in another, transformation in another. 
and love in another. At the very top is this cat, which signifies spirit, feminine, feminine spirit, feminine, divine feminine. So where you have this, here's how they're mirroring you. That page of cups is coming up again. This person is waking up. Waking up big time. Ace of water signifying uh, overflowing love. This is, it can be gossip. It could be people interfering. It could be, you see, they're transforming into a butterfly. And these are the ones that are holding them back, trying to impede that progress or to just outright tell them, don't do it. Interfering. Here you have your confusion card being straightened out. And they have interference. So there's a gaggle of people behind this person. Where you had the seven of fire, which is, uh, you have the high ground, you have the upper hand, you have the clarity of what is right for you. To clarify this was the empress. You got the empress twice in this reading. And I explained earlier what this means. This page of swords is defending this empress. You could be seeing your significant other as trying to uh, do the right thing, defend that empress energy in you. They see you as the empress. This could be you being defensive, saying, you know what? I just got to this point and you're not taking it away. I've got my stuff together. And I'm moving forward with or without the help of others. You really don't need the help of others. You have the universe on your side. You have divine feminine. Where you have the empress. Was that the empress? No. The seven of fire. Empress as a clarifier. And the page of swords. They had the star. Their wish is to be this. This is where they want to go. This is their goal. The king. Of they see you as independent. Or they are working on this. With working on reaching this state within themselves. So that they can offer you the world. They can offer you the world. They know that. They're working on that. And their energy is being drawn from the stars. Which is more powerful than the sun. In, in strength. Sun warns us. The sun is about joy, but you also notice in a lot of the tarot's the sun is. It shows the sun, of course, and it shows the. Sorry, that's Chloe. Shows the a child, or sometimes a teenager riding the horse. This is <clears throat> the old card, where the sun is the young card. This is the old card. This is wisdom coming in. Absolutely. Where you had lovers, a lover's card, and they had the strength card. You're holding on to what you got. These are all the pentacles I've got left. Nobody's going to take them away. How tightly they're hanging on to those pentacles. Pentacles. 
it, it reminds me of the seven of pentacles where they're waiting for the harvest but you know you got so fed up you walked away from the whole situation but looking back you still got these five still waiting for you and the flower in the corner is popping out of the snow and something else too that snow signifies a blanket protection purity You're holding on to that love, maybe too tightly, or maybe the universe is saying, don't give up. In their position was a strength card. Their clarifiers were death and the knight of swords. Death is a transformation. This is a very good card. They've gone through a death. They are transforming. All of these cards are showing that. That page of water really stands out since they've got it twice. They're, they're waking up. They're receiving knowledge from the creator. And some healing. There's definite healing going on with this card. This transformation. Now with the Knight of Swords. It is fast energy has also to do in, in the Hebraic meanings it has to do with belief some people believe they know some people believe because they know and some people just believe that's this this night he's going forward with what he believes even though he may not know if it's the right belief or not this is what he believes or she believes they believe this whether it's right or wrong whether it's ethical or not ethical but one thing about this this card too is they are acting in integrity so belief systems are being challenged and they are work, moving forward quickly maybe a bit awkwardly because <clears throat> they're pretty sure their belief system is right, but see, they're questioning even that, this transformation that's going on. There's been a death in something in self, which was necessary to make room for the wisdom that is coming to them in this page of water, or page of cups, coming to them. Where this card up here, the star, ah. Uh, the King of Pentacles, this is where they're coming to. <clears throat> Last two. The Empress, where you got the Empress. They had the Page of Fire. Gosh, lots of pages. This awakening in them has, has I was going to say it's begun, but no, it had begun. They've already started. New beginnings, new beginnings, new thought patterns. It's like a Changing the DNA universe is working on them. We've got a full moon coming up, blood moon, blue moon, full moon, full eclipse, wolf moon. It's very, very significant. It's in Leo, very significant. Leo is brave, the lion, regal. This, these changes that are going on within, <clears throat> you have been going through. You have attained this energy, Empress energy from the universe. To clarify your Empress, this is the Nine of Wands. It's kind of like this card where you're standing your ground, you've got the higher, you've got the high ground. You've made your decisions, you made with them despite what anyone says you already know this one is this one is absolute victory nine of wands means you will attain this you're at the nine of wands you will attain this because you're the empress <clears throat> you, you are taking on this energy as well because for the 
for the moment, for the day it's needed. Intellect. Fair. And you see how he's got his hawk perched, ready to go out and if there's a question as to what's going on, he simply sends out that hawk. That hawk is that spirit in you that is protecting you. This is very good energy. Very good energy. You have become very decided but not stubborn. Stubborn. You're just not stubborn. This is compassion, gentility, fertility, birthing. So whatever you're having to handle, you're going to be handling it with uh, a lot of patience. Uh, and beautiful, beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. You're there. Page of Fire was clarified by the Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is mm, looking at all that they're doing, all their multitasking, and it's become a... It, they need to lay some of these birds With the two of wands, they have a choice. It doesn't matter what choice they make. It could be a choice between you and something else. It doesn't matter what choice they make. It's the right choice. But they have to make a choice. Set the world in the hand. Whatever choice they make, and that's the way God works. Whatever choice you make, it's never wrong. It may take a longer time to get to the destination that God has planned for you, your, your destiny, but you will get there. In this case, this person has to decide between the two, and they know they have to decide. It's imminent. It's, it's here they have to decide. They're at that point that they know they have to mis decide very soon. But I don't see anything bad in all of this, guys. This is beautiful. Um, you guys are you're both soul searching. You're both healing. You're both thinking of each other in your dreams. Just going to pull up a uh, romance card for you. Maybe two, maybe a dozen. Maybe. Wow, okay. This one says pay attention to the red flags. I don't think you have a that, but okay, maybe they're, uh, uh, you're on your toes. All these cards say you're there. You see those red flags for what they are. And I think you're at the point now that you're able to dismiss them. Nip them in the bud. I don't see an energy here of argumentativeness. I see an energy here of all this. Peace. Peace. Uh, calm. Tranquility. Working on self both of you okay and then these cards keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations that's not a surprise in light of these belief systems they're trying to fix this is what i believe this is the right way and this is what's going to fix everything and not necessarily Sorry, guys. Chloe does that all the time. She's old. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real. And they're worth exploring. So have fun. Be playful. 
flirt, tease, but not too much, no. You don't want to get yourself in a corner that you can't handle because what is coming here is a soul connection. Not, it, it's here. It's on your doorstep. If it's not here yet, if you haven't met this person yet, you guys are uh, communicating intellectually in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your intuition. Your hunches. This is a beautiful reading, guys. What a nice way to start my day. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't. and Leave me a comment to let get to know you better. Again, let you know there's $25 readings available for anyone who's interested. And it will be in the description box. Thanks again, guys. Wonderful day. God bless.